Okay, let's come into our standing mountain pose, getting ready for our warm up. Lift your toes, spread them out, don't grip. Make sure your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders are all lined up and your core is activated, supporting your spine. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And just take a moment focusing inward, letting that breath flow in with energy and awareness. Exhale any stress or tension. Keep your shoulders relaxed and your spine lengthened. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out, spread your toes. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pull those elbows back, keeping your heart open. Inhale, bring your arms to the front, but keep your shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind and just gently clasp the fingertips and press them down as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too much. You want to keep stretching your neck. Take a breath. And on an exhalation, come on over. Pivot at your hips, bring your hands up, your head down as far as it wants to go. Kind of lift your sitting bones, let the back of your legs get a little more stretch. And then bend your knees, work your way slowly back up. And lift your heart. Drop your shoulders and another upper body back bend, stretching out through the neck, through the whole top of your body. Take a breath or two there, relax your shoulders. And then on an inhalation, come up and release your arms. Take a moment in mountain pose, just noticing how your body begins responding. Keep that inner focus. And again, bring your arms up to shoulder lift. Shoulders still down, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands the other way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over, non-habitual. And stretch into the back bend one more time as you exhale, pin And again, just deepen as far as you want. Bring those arms further up, hands toward your head if that works for your shoulders today. Move your chin around. Keep releasing that neck. And then knees bent, sitting bones down. Work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way back into another back bend. So chest high, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling a little bit more sensation internally as we get ready to stretch the side. So let's just do the one arm one today, arm out to the side, palm up, arm above your shoulder. Push the hands and lean, no twist to the side. So make sure your shoulders and hips both face to the front and you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening along the side. You can look up if you'd like to make sure you're not leaning to the front. And then inhale back to the top and release. Take a moment as you get there. Feel your body a little bit more open on that side. So, you know, let's balance it. Other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push and stretch as you lean to the side. Again, stay facing forward. Stretch out through your fingers and reach, pushing the foot down, getting those ribs opening. And again, inhale up and release into mountain. Shoulders back and down, oh, circle them a couple of times, just releasing any tightness there. And we need to stretch the spine apart so we can twist. Bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, get ready for our twist. So stretch that spine apart and exhale, pull the knees up. Another breath and exhale, pivot the breath. And just deepen as much as you like, relaxing. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit, get those legs stretching. Elbows reaching out. Stay in your twist, keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, and work your way back up. 
into that upper body twist back bend. So remember, always really gentle on your low back when you're twisting. Elbows out, shoulders down, and chest up. Inhale, upright. Exhale around to the center and switch arms. And again, pull the shoulders down, sitting bones down, stretch the head up and twist to the other side. Take a breath and exhale over. And again, just hang for a moment. Keep the weight even as much as you can on your feet. Lift the sitting bones, relax the shoulders. And in your twist, work your way back up. And another upper body back bend, shoulders down, elbows back. Just letting that spine finish its warm up on this twist. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, stretch your arms up, pull your shoulders down. Sitting bones toward the floor, let's swan dive forward from extended mountain into parallel to the floor. Stretch those arms out. Drop your arms into ragdoll, just hanging wherever they go. Pull in deeper if you like that back stretch. And then arms back to the front. Lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin, and then drop the sitting bones. Lift the ribs and wind your way slowly back up. Shoulders back and down. Oh, a couple of times again into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment there, spread your toes, feel the base of your toes and the heels evenly supporting you. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Shoulder to shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Stretch your hands and head up. And then we're gonna go into our squat chair position. So just push the sitting bones back like you were gonna sit in a chair. Bend your knees, make sure they don't go beyond your toes, and just squat down. So keep pushing those sitting bones behind you as you come down. You can come as deep or not deep as your body wants to go. Arms still by your ears, shoulders toward your waist. Spread your toes, feel your body in the squat. Maybe deepen it a little bit. And then let your hands lead you coming back all the way up into extended mountain. Shoulders down or active, take a breath, spread your toes, sink evenly into your feet, we're gonna do that again. So again, just squatting, sitting bones going back, knees not going too far forward, just come squatting down as deeply as you like. Bring your hands together to your heart, we're gonna do a twist. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away, and we're gonna rotate the whole body, turning to one side, look over there, elbows across from each other. You wanna get the elbow all the way to the outside of the knee. You can leverage deeper into the twist if you love a twist. But remember, your whole body is turning, not just your neck. One shoulder up, one shoulder down. Exhale, tension. Keep those sitting bones pushing back. And then we'll rotate back to the center. Bring your arms back out. And lead with your fingertips back up. Keep the shoulders down as you're in extended mountain. Take a breath. I know it's extended. Take a breath. Really focus inward. And once again, one more chair because we've got to yeah, twist to the other side. Shoulders down, fingertips and head up. Sitting bones coming back, exhale your way down. Don't get those knees going too far forward. Squat only as deeply as you want. Hands again to your heart. Take a breath. The reason we put the hands to the heart is it helps you keep things in line as we twist. So turn your whole body going to the side. Bring that elbow outside the knee if you want to go even deeper into the twist. Take a breath. And exhale any tension. Keep stretching those sitting bones back and crown forward, lengthening your spine, opening it for the twist. Exhale, turn back to the center. Again, shoulders down as you bring your arms next to your ears, lead with the fingertips, all the way back up into extended mountain. 
Take a moment there, just pause. And then exhale those arms down. And back in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling what's going on for you today. Let's see, let's bring the hands onto the lower back. So peel the palm at your shoulder, lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your waist. And then pull the elbows toward each other so you feel that heart open. Toes straight ahead. And again, feel your whole body lengthening. Feel that chest opening and then rotate your face looking up, but don't lift your chin. So keep stretching the back base of the skull and the top of your head out, but not lifting your chin. So you don't want to crunch that back of your neck. So you want to feel that support on your low back as you go into this deeper back bend. Take a breath. And then chin even more towards your chest. Come on back up and release. And let's either clasp your arms behind your lower back or reverse prayer with your fingertips up between your shoulder blades. You can press the heels of the palms together if that works for your shoulders or not. And we're going to just circle the hips. So feet are hip width apart. Everything's in mat and pose. We're just keeping those shoulders relaxed as you work that whole lower body. So the hips, legs, ankles, feet, everything working. Stop and go the other way with your circles. Getting a good circle going through that pelvis, hip, lower body area. And then release and come back again into mountain pose. Take your feet together, big toes touching. Heels can be separated. Bend your knees toward your second pose, not beyond. Hands above your knees, position them, support so no pressure in the hands, and then circle the knees again. So lower body getting a little bit more intense workout through the knees, hips, ankles, feet, everything lower. And then stop and again go the other way. And then come back into the center, find your heart point out on the floor, or your balance and lift your heels. So you're on the base of the toes, the balls of your feet, not the toes themselves, coming into that balance. Take a moment and breathe. Relax your shoulders. Remember, no pressure in your hands. And then back onto your heels and coming back up and separating back into neck and toes. Take a breath and relax. So if you've got a wall or a windowsill nearby or a chair or anything like that, we're going to just go and hold on to either the windowsill or put your hands on the wall or a door and take a good step back. So you want your head going up to the spot above your hands, wherever they may be, if they're on the chair or if they're on the wall. Head goes up. But chest and ribs come down and those sitting bones go way back. Shoulder blades towards your waist, just sinking into another back bend. So ribs down. You can lift the sitting bones even a little bit if you want to, getting a good back bend through the whole length of your spine. Take a breath, just sink deeply. Straighten your knees as much as feels good and make sure your hips are as much above your ankles as you can as you sink into that position. Breathing. You can even do this with a table. And you'll be a little bit deeper and lower, but you still take that big step back, push those sitting bones behind you, chest dropping, ribs dropping, head still going up as much as you can. And then tuck in your chin, bend your knees, and step forward, coming back out and into mountain pose as you feel that whole upper body a little bit more worked on. So take a breath, tension it. Hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing them toward the ceiling. Swan dive forward again. So get those shoulders working right out to shoulder level, pivot forward. Drop it around, uh, 
Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten into your halfway up stretch. So keep those shoulder, shoulder blades going towards your waist as you're in that position. And again, hands don't push, they just position. Take a breath, get that core active, support your lower back. And then bend your knees, drop down again into ragdoll, and wind your way one more time. Shoulders up, back and down into mountain pose. As you get there, take a moment to breathe. Get your core activated. Check your feet. Make sure they're pointing straight ahead so that we can do our balance practice. So spread your toes out. Lift your toes themselves. Get that ball of the foot, base of the toe area as your support. Spread the toes as you put them down. No gripping or that gets rid of that connection. You want to have that whole foot connected. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up or supporting your spine. Put those ribs toward it or spine and up. Shoulders back and down. Crown reaching up as you bring the other foot toward your heart. So you can keep it low if your balance challenge. You can have a chair or something nearby for support if you need to. Bring that knee up as far as it wants to go. You can pull it in towards your heart if it works. Circle your ankle. Remember, we want to keep those ankles flexible. So make sure that you're circling it both ways, keeping that flexibility. And then just flex and point to straighten it out as you put that side back down. And get ready for your opposite balance. More active, things aligned. Everything supported. Don't forget to breathe and bring your other leg. And again, wherever it goes, remember if you're rolling up at the top of the thigh, that leg will cross over. It won't keep you as stable and steady. So a little roll in if you need to to make sure that that foot stays on its proper side. Work your ankle. Take a breath. Feel what's going on. And again, flex the point as you release. Once more, mountain pose, feeling your body, noticing what's going on for you. Hands toward the ceiling in prayer position, another deep back bend as much as you like. Lift those hips just a little. Exhale, come on all the way into ragdoll. Dropping to the floor, just hanging. Move those shoulders around, get the upper body releasing. Slide your hands up under your knees, straighten everything out, knees, elbows, and spine. And as you exhale, bend your knees and come to the floor for child's pose, transitioning all the way to the mat. Take a breath there, shoulders relaxing, deep breath, tension. And then bring your arms to the front, Toward the sides of the mat, pivot up, slide your legs back, feet to the end of the mat. Drop your hips, just roll down, feel that whole spine as you come all the way to your belly. Turn your head to the side, hands next to your feet, no, next to your hips, and shoulders down toward the floor, feet up with apart. And then as you exhale, turn your head to the opposite side and rest in crocodile, just letting that neck get a good stretch. And then turn your face to the front, slide your chin forward, turn your hands, palms down. You can bring your fingers under your thighs if you want to. Press your hips down, keep the feet hip width apart, stretch the right foot back, and lift the leg. So keep both hip bones down. You don't need to lift that leg, um, leg higher. You just want to stretch out through the base of the toes as you bring that foot up as much or as little as your body wants. Strengthening your lower back, slightly toning your abs, working your body. Shoulders down, chin forward. That gets too much for your neck. Tuck your forehead to the floor. Take a breath, maybe a little higher, but press down through those hips. And then stretch out through the toes as you lower that leg. Turn your forehead to the floor, releasing your neck if you had that chin forward.
And again, we're going to, of course, do the other foot. So slide your chin forward and down. Slide the left foot back. Keep the knees straight. Hips down. And bring that foot up. And again, just keep reaching out through those all of the foot base of the toe area as you lift that leg as high as it wants to go. Take a breath, sink the hips, lift the leg. And again, just as much or as little as you want on that neck, you can keep forehead down or just move back and forth between it if that works better for your neck. Take a breath, stretch it out, and exhale that foot down. As it gets all the way down, forehead again toward the back. Take a moment to release those shoulders, just relaxing across the neck area. Breathing deep. And then bring your hands under your shoulders, push up and back into child's pose. Forehead toward the floor, stretch the spine, relax the shoulders. And then inhale, sitting up, bring your legs all the way to the front and to the end of the mat into stack position. Core active, support the spine, feel your body, shoulders relaxing. We're going to keep that core activated and just lean back slightly until you start feeling the core muscles work a little bit more. Take a moment, press out through the bottoms of your feet. Keep those kneecaps coming towards your thighs, back of the legs pressing gently down. Straighten your spine as much as you can, so you don't want to be rounded as you're doing this. You want to be as straight as you can. Take a breath. And then allow the lower back to connect and the bottom ribs to connect and shoulder blades to connect and the whole spine to come down, shoulders to the mat, coming into recline the depression. Take a breath, exhale any tension. So roll the feet so that the toes are going straight up toward the ceiling, rolling that whole leg so the knee and toes are up. Hands, palms down at your feet or your hips. I don't want, know why I want those hands to reach your feet today. Hands at your hips. Palms down, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up, so remember, make sure you're not letting them roll out. We're going to work that low back a little bit, so press it all the way down with the sitting bones going to the heels. Feel that core activated. And then roll the sitting bones back, lift the ribs up with that space under your back. So remember, it strengthens your lower back and it turns your abs a little bit as you press down, sitting bones toward your heels, and as you arch up, lifting those ribs, giving that space behind your back. So just a couple times, pressing down and arching up, and just allowing that midsection of your torso to get a little bit more flexibility as well. So as high into the arch as pressing down toward the floor as your body wants to. Take a breath. Exhale tension. And then come back to neutral. Shoulders down. Feet hip width apart. Knees hip width apart. We're going to just go up into a gentle bridge. So we're going to press the back down as you exhale, and then lift your hip bones straight up to the ceiling. Shoulders supporting you, so you can go up higher onto your shoulders if you want. Make sure those knees stay right hip width apart, not spreading apart. And just press into your arms and hands and shoulders. The head is on the floor, not your neck. And those hips are just lifting as much or as little as you would like today. Take a breath. Exhale, release the shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine to the floor. Bring your arms out to T position. Palms up or down. We're just going to do our little bent knee twist. If you want a little bit more, you can cross your leg over the other one. Lift your feet off the floor and roll the knee over to the side, turning your head toward that opposite arm. 
So hands up or down with the arms, letting that shoulder sink into the floor. Just let the knees come as far over to the side as they want and turn your head toward the opposite side. So deep breath, just relax. Let that knee go into its twist as much as it wants. Gentle on the low back if you need to. Remember, the more you emphasize the exhalations, those ligaments release and your spine can deepen into its twist. Turn your head only as much as your neck needs. Don't go too far. Don't overstress or strain those neck muscles. Take a breath. Keep those shoulders down. Get that middle back nice and twisted. And then heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back. If you crossed your leg, uncross it. And of course, you need to go the other way. So sitting bones down toward your heels. Feet up off the floor. Cross the opposite leg if you're doing that, and roll those knees over toward the side. Turn your head toward the opposite side, and again, shoulders down. Keep that middle back working in its twist as you relax into it. Head turning, neck area, just be gentle if you need to, and allow gravity to bring the knees down toward the floor. Take a breath, pad if you need to, remember anything that's appropriate for you. Deep breath, just relax. Let your body release as much stress and tension as it needs to, and deepen your twist as much as your body needs today. Exhale, <clears throat> one more time, just letting that twist deepen. And then bringing your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back if your legs are crossed, and cross, feet to the floor, slide them out, and bring your hands near your hips, palms up for our final relaxation. So again, toes toward each other, and then just release that lower body. You do a lot through the hips, through the legs. Shoulders relaxing down, and we did some work there through the upper body as well. Soften your midsection, just let things release. Soften your face, take a breath in, and as you exhale, just blow out just gently through your lips, letting things deepen into that release and emptying your arms. And a few breaths like that, in through the nose, out through the lips, just gently letting your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. No tension left anywhere, any part of your body. Deep breaths, just release And allow your body to grow heavier, sinking deeper into that earth support. Focusing inward, letting everything go. And as you release and relax your body, just release and relax your mind as well. Let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts drift in and out without awareness, the content just drifting away like your breath, unneeded, unnoticed. As your body relaxes deeper into the earth embrace, when your mind floats more drifting away, just allow your thoughts to release both your body and your mind. As you release, just deepen your awareness of the peace within. Fill your body. Fill your mind. Fill your being with peace.
we'll just keep breathing peace, being peace for as long as you have time to do. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely at your own pace. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels up towards your hips, and draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know that you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough hug and appreciation, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.